Hey guys, what's up? It's Beast Fable. So I'm making a quick video here just to show the uh, playlist I use for streams. What what music do I use for streams? So first thing, it should be obvious, but basically I don't use whatever music I really want to listen to because mainstream like rock and pop and stuff uh, just tends to get DMCA'd and it's just, it's going to get taken down or muted or the stream's going to get affected if you use mainstream music because they're just like you know licenses and stuff so what i usually do is for, first of all I, I always use audacity for music so the music that you're hearing i'm playing through audacity so if you have audacity this is going to apply but if you don't don't worry because there's another part that we're going to go over but basically i have like two different folders in this folder called music for streams now in audacity you can set up any folders you want uh in the in the sidebar here and so i have like gaming soundtracks so this is like official video game soundtracks. I think video game soundtracks are like the best, like the best streaming music um, to use because there's like no, like it's never going to get taken down. It's it, There's like no uh, DMCA complaints or anything. Um, and generally video games have amazing soundtracks. So it's just like you can't lose, in my opinion. The cool thing about Spotify is that you can basically like find these like anywhere. So what I usually do is I look for like official video game soundtracks. So I put that into... Uh, Spotify and I go to albums and then I get you know all these results and so it has tons and tons and tons of video games now many of these video games are kind of like you know not very relevant um, kind of like indie games but sometimes those have the best soundtracks so uh, what you can do is once you find a soundtrack that you like music box cla classics for some reason man I really like music box classics so what you do in the list view, you scroll down to Music Box Classics, and uh, you, all you have to do is choose, uh, select it, like drag it towards your folder, and it just adds it to your collection, uh, into your folder. So now you can just play this on stream. So Audacity makes it really easy to find really great soundtracks um, and add them by just clicking and dragging them. Uh, so some of the stuff that I use, let's just remove uh, Music Box Classics, not saying it's not good or anything. Uh, I use a lot of Dracula music. Akumandu Dracula is uh, Castlevania, the Castlevania games. These songs are just amazing. Um, honestly, like, these soundtracks are amazing, so I recommend Uba Huerta Kokuin, I recommend Judgment, Yami no Juin, uh, Gekka no Nocturne, um... Dracula Harmony to Spare, and then the original soundtrack I don't really play that often, but it's also good. And so let me get to the part where we talk about, hey, I don't have Spotify. How do I use these playlists? You know, first of all, Spotify is a free app. You will get ads and stuff between songs, which sucks. So if you want to pay like 15 bucks to, to stop that, that's great. But in case you don't want to have to deal with ads or something and you just want to use YouTube, it's perfectly fine. So all you're going to do is you're going to take the sound title, the album title from Spotify. So let's just say Akumaja Dracula Uberweta Kokuin. I'm probably misspelling this, <laughs> mispronouncing this so badly. Uh, and then just put OST at the end. And then boom, here you go. You've got the exact same soundtrack. you got some make rib advertisements here. Skip it. And here we are. It's the exact same soundtrack. Pretty much all OSTs are on YouTube. It's like you can't really miss it probably has way more osts than spotify does um so this 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 will work for you the thing with spotify is that uh sorry the thing with youtube is that uh you're gonna get ads eventually like if we skip through i assume at some point we're gonna run into an ad well we haven't yet but i don't know maybe that would happen it's just something that this is the reason why I don't use it because I'm just worried about ads are gonna pop up if I'm like playing music on stream. So uh, that's the thing that I don't like about it. But um, basically, yeah, just go into YouTube, type any playlist you want, uh, any video game soundtrack you want, and just put OST at the end, and you're you're bound to find it. Um, sometimes these will be in playlists on YouTube. Sometimes there'll be a single video. Now if we swap back to Spotify, I just want to show you the music that I usually play. The Dracula music is like. A lot of what I play, but also some amazing, amazing soundtracks that you guys should try are Tunic. Tunic has uh, some of the best music 
I've ever heard, honestly. Um, it's very peaceful. It works very, very well for grinding in RSC. Curve Space is amazing. I suggest you try that as well. Has more of like an electric, like metal feel to it, kind of. Uh, Ace Attorney is an amazing soundtrack. Like this never gets, this shit never gets old. <laughs> like uh, this is great for discussion videos, for like streams where you're just talking about whatever you want to do. Uh, it's good. It's great for investigation videos and stuff. Um, Far Cry Three Blood Dragon, amazing, amazing soundtrack. One of the best video game soundtracks I've ever heard. It's very, um, I don't know, it has a weird feeling to it. Like Warzone. Uh, and then, it's just so well done. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's really good. Deuce Ex is something I used on a recent vanilla stream and it worked really well for me. Uh, it's not something I've been using for years, but it's, it's good. Also, Night Dive Waves, like the second part, is really good. Um, that. And then Iconoclast is actually one of my favorites. It's very like jumpy and very like 16-bit music. Um, it's a lot of really really good stuff. There's so there are two here, sedated and excited. They're both about the same kind of feel, in my opinion. Doom is always good stuff. Um, it's it's better for like you know PKing or KBD or stuff like that. I don't know. Obviously you can stream whatever the hell you want to. But it's better for like high impact kind of gaming. Furry is amazing, or Fury, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I've been using it for years. I literally streamed with this stuff like six years ago nonstop. Uh, it's an amazing soundtrack. Crypt of the Necro Dancer is more like like 16 bit, like um, silly music, but it kind of works. Kind of like dance music. It's, it's pretty good, honestly. Uh, Hollow Island is another, like, indie game soundtrack. It's very good. It's more peaceful, I think. But it's it's definitely good for background music. Uh, Float um, is very, very good. It's also very symphonic. Um, but it's good. And Stardew Valley, in my opinion, is uh, amazing. It's very, very good for, like, grinding. Um, it's just good for, like... Garden vibes. <laughs> Maybe if you were shearing sheep or something, I don't know. Uh, Nidhogg is a good soundtrack. It's very, uh, it's just very good. I just recommend it. Uh, Lightfield I used recently, semi recently. This one's good. It's a little bit weird. It's got some weird lyrics every once in a while that don't make sense. Uh, Cyberpunk, the 2770, uh, 2077 soundtrack is amazing. Uh, this is more. Um, this is gonna feel more mainstream kind of music. Like, Kill Kill is a great song. Um, Fable, <laughs> I tried this just because, you know, that's my YouTube name. Uh, it's actually not bad, honestly. Um, it's, it's more peaceful or like, you know, dramatic adventure music. Um, Darkest Dungeon is good. Another indie game. I've been using it for years though, so it's really good. Um, Fallout 4 is, is very, very, like, quiet, but it kind of works sometimes. Uh, Streets of Rage is amazing. I used this in the RSCPK tips video. Um, it's just really, really good, like, fight music. If you're looking for something that's, like, kind of retro, uh, it's really good. So, yeah, Streets of Rage 2 and 3 are good as well. Zoom is kind of, like... If you're really angry and you want to take down a boss, this is a good album for that. Um, it's kind of like very action-packed music. Dragon Age soundtracks, I don't use these like ever, but they're good games, so I thought I'd take it and put it into my, into my library. Um, honestly, they're, they're pretty good, so. Killing Floor, I never really use this. It's, it's another like action-packed kind of soundtrack. Genshin Impact, very tranquil. Um, kind of anime, you know, it, it works sometimes. And then the rest of these I don't really use that often. Um, Dauntless is pretty good, but these other three at the bottom I never use, I just thought they sounded cool. Um, and I mean, there's probably tons of other soundtracks out there that I'm not even including. 
Uh, and again, you can just put any of the titles of these in YouTube and just put OST and you're, you're guaranteed to find it, basically. <laughs> um, now, this other folder I have in here is called Chill Electronic slash Vibes. This is just a bunch of stuff I found on Spotify. Random Spotify's uh, playlist that I just added to my, uh, to my library. So we've got like NCS Electronica. That's basically no copyright electronica music. That's pretty good sometimes. Um, these are bound to have more lyrics and stuff. So they sometimes even when something to know about NCS music, if it says NCS, it's not always 100% safe. Sometimes there will be like an NCS song in an NCS playlist that still gets like muted or something. So it's not like foolproof. Uh, chill Vibes is a really good one. Just, just really chill vibes, I guess. And this one is also good. I really like this one. This one was amazing. I just started this one a couple weeks ago. This one I found, I think I started it a little bit. It, I think it's kind of got a little bit of ambiance too. Lush Lo-Fi is, uh, sheesh. I think this is that, um, yeah, this is basically, um, Lush Vibes. So like, uh, like six years ago when I was streaming RSC, I would always like play Lush Vibes when I was like Fletching and Draenor or something. Like what's a good song? Uh, this basically has no lyrics, but it's like, um, well, it looks like they took out all the old stuff, which is fun. But it's just a, it's an interesting, like, it, they're like mostly lowercase and they've got like weird, like, song names and stuff, but it's good stuff, honestly. It's really good. Um, Electronic Gems is a really, really good one. Uh, it's just electronic music. And it's also no lyrics or anything. And then Chill Synth is really good. Um, now these playlists that you're seeing on the left here, you might not be able to find them on YouTube because I think they're basically like custom Spotify playlists, but I mean, you could always just look for, you know, Chill Synth or electronic music on YouTube and find something that's uh, not copyrighted. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you uh, can find some music to use. Um, and uh, again, the, the thing is, gaming soundtracks are amazing. So that's it. Have a great day.